Hi, my name is Deb Johnston, and welcome to Women Reinventing Midlife TV, where we aim to inspire women over 50 to thrive in a meaningful life that you deeply desire and deserve. And today, I'm going to be sharing some powerful strategies to help you banish self-doubt and start a new career after 50. One of the things that really gets in the way at any time in life in starting a new career is fear and self-doubt. And most especially when we hit 50, when we hit the 50 mark, for some reason, we tend to doubt ourselves even more. I remember in my much earlier years, in my 20s and 30s, thinking that I only had a certain amount of time to get my career sort sorted out before I was too old. And back then, I thought 50 was too old. Now, now I'm on the latter end of 50, I'm 59. I think anything but that. I think that the, the world is my oyster and I can do anything that I want to and I choose to do. And career for me now is mainly about doing what lights me up from the inside, what I can have a little bit, bit of fun with and what I really want to do more so than believing it's about what I feel I can't do. There's a lot more variety in my work. I really have fun every day and every day is totally different. And this can be the same for all of us. Too often, though, our self-doubt and our fear or feelings of nervousness or apprehension get in the way. This can be the most empowering time of our life. And it's actually when we're at our most valuable. But many times we see the opposite of that. And it's generally because of what we see around us with society, you know, we see glosses with youth portrayed as being valuable. We see um, news articles, we see uh, blogs written about women who have um, been turned down in promotion because they're too old. We might have had a friend that went through that, or we may even have experienced it ourselves. And because of that, we feel like this phase of life, it's a little bit tricky starting a new career and maybe we've left it too late when actually we haven't. We are at our most valuable because at this age, we've had so many experiences through our life. We've done so many different things. You've quite possibly had a lot of different jobs, filled a lot of different roles. And during that time, you've learned a lot, learned a lot of skills, learned a lot of qualities, learned how to do something that you never knew how to do before. And because of this, there's a lot of wisdom in this. So when we get to the age of 50, we're, we're very wise. We do have a lot of learnings, a lot. We've evolved a lot. We've grown a lot. And even if you've been a mum staying at home for the last 20 years, it's exactly the same because in those 20 years of being a stay-at-home parent, there's so much that you've learned. You've learned lots and lots of different people skills in order to be a stay-at-home parent. So many different skills, so much evolving that's happened during that time. And that means that you're wise. And that becomes incredibly attractive to a potential employer. It's incredibly valuable whether you're working for another business company or organization or whether you're deciding to start a business of your own. So be, even though we have all this wisdom, there's so many of us that dearly want to start a new career or start a new business, but we don't. We don't. We let the society beliefs get in the way or we let our own beliefs get in the way. And because of that, we do nothing and just experience the same old, same old when we could be experiencing something quite extraordinary. So the number one thing that causes the fear and doubt, number one thing is our belief system. And that's where we're going to start is our belief system. When we have a belief system with very limiting beliefs that say things like, I'm too old to start something new, or it's too late to start something new. Nobody's going to want me. I'm not valuable. Um, I'm not smart enough. I'm not qualified enough. When we have beliefs like this, we're going to see numerous 
reasons to to believe that they're true we're going to see proof all around us because our beliefs create our reality so number one is to get rid of those limiting beliefs because when we get rid of the limiting beliefs it's going to reduce that self-doubt it's going to reduce that nervousness or that fear that you're feeling about starting something new so just have a, a an explore, you know, explore your own belief system. Suss out what those beliefs are. Write them down on a piece of paper that you're going to be quite happy to destroy. So write them down on a piece of paper you're happy to destroy. And when you've written them down, you can tear them up into little tiny pieces and you can either bury them, burn them, or throw them away get rid of them. They're not useful. They're really not useful. Then start writing beliefs that are really going to support you. And I know this sounds simple. And the fact that it is simple is what's really great about it, because that means it's easy for anyone to do. So write down beliefs that are going to support they're going to nurture you and they're going to sustain you in this phase of life in starting a new career that you're going to love. Write down those beliefs and they might believe, might be beliefs like this is the perfect time to start something new. I am at my most valuable now. I can do this and what I don't know, I can learn. I'm more than good enough. I'm actually amazing. Writing down beliefs that are going to support, sustain and nurture you and make sure you're embedding them so they need to be written down every day. Have a journal. You're going to write them down every day. Say them to yourself in the mirror. You might like to display them around your home so that you see them. One of my favorite spots was in the bathroom so that I could see them every single day. I put them on this big, colorful piece of card and I stuck them in my bathroom. Whenever I want to change any beliefs, that is what I do. I make sure they're in my face so I see them every day because it's about rewiring the brain. It's about starting those new neural pathways that are going to support you in starting a new career. And then number three is to look for proof. Look for proof of women who have started a new career after 50. We have a fabulous tool that we can use for this and it will show up exactly what you're looking for. So if you're looking for proof of not being able to do this, it will show you. If you're looking for proof of women who have been able to do this, then it will show you. So type in the question, women, who have started a new career after 50. And you can play with that sentence, type it in in as many different ways that you can think of until you start to get the proof. There are so many women who've started a new career after 50. I, you think of the really famous ones like Louise Hay, like Arianna Huffenden started new careers or new businesses after 50, but there are so many more. I have spoken to probably a hundred women over the last two years who've started new careers after 50 or developed a very different arm to the business that they already had. So it is possible. It's just about looking for the proof. And as you see more proof, you're going to continue to see more proof. And as that happens, your awareness of what is possible for you will start to expand. The next thing that's important to work on is you, to get clear on who you are now. As you become clear on the person that you are now, what makes you, what makes you valuable, then your confidence starts to rise. And again, that banishes the self-doubt and the nervousness. So really get clear on what makes you you now, who you were 20 years ago, 30 years ago, 40 years ago, you know what, even 10 years ago or five years ago is possibly not the person you are because we change as we age. We evolve as we age. So it's getting clear on what makes you the person you are, what, what qualities you have, what drives you, what motivates you, what's important to you, what you're passionate about, really getting clear clear on who you are now. We're so good at telling ourselves everything that we're not, 
but we rarely do this. We rarely sit down and think about the amazing person that we are. So spend some time doing this. Get yourself a journal. You're going to be doing a lot of journaling and really write down what makes you you and you'll begin to see how valuable you are and how much you do still have to contribute to the world. And then last part of this, if you are still feeling a little bit apprehensive, a little bit nervous about doing something new, then challenge yourself to do new things. You might not be quite ready to start a new career yet. Start to challenge yourself to do new things. One of the things that happens as we age is we tend to get stuck doing the same things all the time. We've got a really lovely comfort zone and we've probably for many, many years haven't done much new things. So it's then about... Um, it's then about challenging yourself to do new things. And there might be really little simple things just to start with, like challenging yourself to drive a different way to work or challenging yourself to drive a different way to the supermarket, maybe challenging yourself to cook something different for dinner or completely change a recipe that you have been using, going to a new fitness class, challenging yourself to do new things will actually get you used to stepping out of your comfort zone. Again, it's about rewiring the brain. As you challenge yourself to do new things, it gets you used to that feeling of stepping out of your comfort zone and also gets you used to seeing that anything is possible, that you can actually step out of your comfort zone and still survive and still feel really good about yourself. So, Challenge yourself to do new things. And when you are ready, start to st take the steps to, to begin a new career, to begin researching your new career and take some steps to actually make it happen. If you've found this video helpful, I encourage you to subscribe to this channel so that you see more videos like this one. It's the red button underneath and click the bell for notifications so you don't miss out. And if you really enjoyed the video, remember to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends because we can all use some help in moving through those feelings of self-doubt. I trust that this helped. And I'll look forward to connecting with you next time. Thank you for joining me. Lots of love. Bye-bye.